welcome language learners from all around the globe to Listen Up, the podcast that takes you on a captivating voyage through the English language. Whether you've just started your journey or have been navigating the intricacies of English for some time, this podcast is designed to be your trusty compass, guiding you towards fluency and unlocking the wonders of English. I'm your host, Karen, a passionate traveller and an experienced teacher of English as a second language. Join me as we embark on an exciting expedition filled with British history read by a native speaker. Together, we'll conquer the challenges and celebrate the victories of learning English as a foreign language. Each episode of Listen Up will immerse you in a variety of topics from aspects of British culture, history and literature. We'll explore useful vocabulary that will empower you to communicate confidently in English. If you want to read along with the podcast, head to my website www.onepawinthesand.com slash ESL. The link is in the description. But this podcast isn't just about learning English in isolation. It's about building a community of language learners, supporting one another and fostering a love of the English language. I encourage you to engage with us through my Patreon page where you can connect with fellow learners, ask questions and share your own language journey. So whether you're sipping tea in Tokyo, walking the streets in Sao Paulo or studying in a bustling cafe in Berlin, Listen Up is here to accompany you on your quest for English fluency. Join me as we embark on this transformative expedition where language becomes an adventure and your dreams of effective communication become a reality. Today's episode is called Back to the Past. London is a big, busy city known for its famous buses, taxis, and the winding River Thames. But did you know that there's a special tradition in London involving sheep? It's a tradition that goes back a very long time, and we're going to talk about it today. Get ready to explore the interesting world of the annual sheep drive in London. To understand why this tradition is so special, we need to go back to a time when London was quite different. Picture London with narrow, twisty streets and lots of woolly sheep. Many years ago, London Bridge was the only way to cross the River Thames, and it was very important for trade. Wool sellers from all over England came to London, and of course, they brought their sheep along. Now here's where it gets interesting. In the year 1196, King Richard I made a rule. He said, that the people who lived in London and were called freemen could take their sheep across London Bridge without having to pay a toll, which was similar to a tax. This was a big deal because tolls were very expensive back then. So the people of London were really happy they could take their sheep through the city without paying extra money. Today, this tradition is still alive and well. The Worshipful Company of Woolmen, a group in London, organises a special event called the Sheep Drive. People who take part in it dress up like shepherds from years gone by and move a flock of sheep. They walk the sheep across London Bridge and it's a beautiful sight with the famous Tower Bridge in the background. But here's the best part. The sheep drive isn't just for fun. It's also a way to help charities and organisations that help people in need. People who want to join the sheep drive have to pay a small fee. and All the money collected goes to help different charities. 
So it's a fantastic event where everyone has a great time and does something good for others. The Sheep Drive isn't only about having fun or helping charities. It's a way to remember how London used to be, a centre for trading, especially for wool. It takes us back to a time when the city's streets were small and filled with the sounds of sheep. It's a special reminder of London's history and the unique traditions that make the city so interesting. If you ever get the chance to see sheep walking on London Bridge, you'll see how funny and wonderful it is. In a city that's always moving fast, the sheep drive is a little break to remember the past and the sheep that used to be a big part of London. So if you're ever in London and hear stories about traffic jams caused by sheep, don't be worried. Instead, enjoy the fun and excitement of this charming tradition. The Sheep Drive connects London's history with the present, and it's a reminder that in a big city, you can still find a flocktastic surprise that makes you smile. And that wraps up another episode of Listen Up. I hope you enjoyed learning about my topic today and practicing your English. Remember, the exploration doesn't have to end here. If you have any lingering questions or want to continue the conversation, I've got some great opportunities for you. First off, I offer private lessons for those of you eager to expand your knowledge further, whether it's practicing today's subject or exploring other topics. I'm here to guide you on your English journey. Reach out to me through my website or social media platforms. And let's embark on a personalized learning experience together. I have been involved with training people for more than 10 years. I've been teaching English as a second language for over a year, in which time I have taught over 500 students, many of whom are regulars. But wait, there's more. If you're a devoted fan of Listen Up and want to show your support, consider joining our Patreon community. Your contribution directly helps us bring you more episodes and maintain the quality of our show. Your support truly means the world to me and we couldn't continue this podcast without you. So whether you choose private lessons or Patreon or both, I look forward to staying connected and exploring the fascinating realms of English as a second language together. Thank you once again for joining us on Listen Up. Until next time, keep practicing. Thank you.